Well, boys, it's another day back out here at Elevated AF, and today is a very exciting day because we are getting a very, very special delivery, but that's not for a little bit yet. However, today is still a very busy, busy day. So first order of business, I got a call yesterday about an old square body that has a blown motor, and we've picked a truck up from this guy before, and uh, I guess he wants to sell us another one, so we're going to go down there and take a look at it, maybe bring it back. I don't know. I've got an idea for a square body that I've been wanting to do for a while now, and I think this might be the perfect opportunity. Now, the unfortunate part about this is square bodies around here tend to be very expensive because they are not easy to come by or at least in good condition this one is supposed to be in mint condition other than the fact that the motor's blown up and it needs a new one but i guess we'll have to see when we get there i always forget how long this freaking driveway is so the guy that has this square body is like extremely extremely rich a lot of investment properties i've been told but uh he's doing a little bit of spring cleaning and uh i guess this is one of the trucks he wants to get rid of that's sitting in this shop i'm gonna go have a chat with him and see if we can go look at this thing all right he told me to just go on in here take a look all right dang this thing is really clean other than the fact that it's lowered lowered trucks not really my style unless it's a dually the single rear wheels just just not my style personally so it's lowered it's got a blown motor other than that he said everything else is perfectly mint on it the interior oh Look at that. So nice. Now, normally with gas trucks, I'd look at swapping them to a diesel. But I think this time, if I end up buying this, might just go with another big block. And like I said before, I have an idea I've been wanting to try out for a while. And this might be the perfect truck to do it on. Well, I just finished writing the guy a check and the truck is now ours. It was too good of a deal to pass up. And with these trucks being hard enough to find, I figured I couldn't lose. And since the motor's blown, I got to winch it up on the trailer. But it shouldn't be too, too bad, I don't think. All right, on the trailer, all strapped down. Let's get the heck out of here. I think my 23 Ford's having some issues. Uh, it doesn't want to tow this trailer extremely well for some reason. I mean, there's a bit of weight on there, but not a whole lot. So I'm a little bit confused. Like we're having a hard time getting up this hill. I'm starting to think there may be an issue with the transmission, but I'm not entirely sure. I'm going to see if we can limp it back to the shop here, but dang, this thing's brand new. I'd hope we're not having any issues, but it does look like we are. Well, just barely made her back to the shop. The truck's definitely having issues. I got to take it in and get it looked at because this thing's still completely under warranty. So yeah, I definitely want to get that figured out. But in the meantime, I guess we're down a haul truck. So I got to figure out what we're going to use from here on out till this thing's fixed. Maybe I just got to build another one. Who knows? So since we've got the blown motor special here, the only way to get this thing into the shop is the forklift. And this thing's really being a pain in the butt here. All right, it's on the lift. That's all that matters. And since this thing's a crew cab long box, it is one long truck. It almost takes up the whole lift. But while the guys are working on that, I got some other stuff to take care of. So I took the Ford off the uh, gooseneck there. I'm going to have one of my guys take it into Ford a little bit later here. But in the meantime, I'm going to use the uh, Dooley here, Dodge, if I need to pull anything, which I don't think we do today, but possibly tomorrow. You know what? Maybe the new vehicle we have coming is going to be able to uh, pull a gooseneck. I'm not too sure yet, though. So we just had a guy drop off this 2024 F. 250 limited one of the nicest trucks you can buy brand new highest trim model absolutely killer truck we've actually had this build plan for a little bit now he was supposed to drop it off sooner but uh yeah that didn't happen he just wants a couple of the parts paint matched not too much he wants to leave a lot of the chrome but a lot of the black plastic he wants paint matched so it should be pretty easy and then he wants a big old lift and some boggers tossed on there so another cool lifted build but uh i guess we'll see how it goes i gotta get this thing into the shop though dang look at that interior oh Check out the back. Oh man. Yeah, I need me. I need me a limited. If I can, I'd really like to find a limited F450 dually. Those are hard to come by. Dang it. Who closed the dang shop door? Hate when I gotta get out of my truck and open it. Ridiculous. Well, boys, it is the next day here, and I'm just fixing to head out here and look at one of the most grandpa of grandpa trucks. And if you do not know what a grandpa truck is, it's basically a base model style truck with absolutely no modifications except a toolbox and a back rack really well taken care of just a really nice clean truck and uh, we're gonna go take a look at one and see how it is from what i've heard it's supposed to be good guys selling it for a good price so we're gonna go check it out so it should just be up here on the left yeah here it is yep talk about a grandpa truck holy smokes that that looks like an aftermarket grill if i'm not mistaken i am not too 
sure. I could be wrong. I don't know. Anyways, it's a uh, 13 Duramax. Super, super clean truck. Just nothing done to this thing. Low miles. It is just a pristine truck and we're going to probably buy it and absolutely ruin it. I don't know if we're going to ruin it. We're going to make it cool at any rate if we do buy it, but I'm, I'm fairly certain we, we are. I don't know. I'm going to have to grab the keys, talk price with the guy and uh, take it for a little test drive. Well, truck seems good. I don't know. I got no problems with buying it. I think we're just going to load this sucker straight up on the trailer. Pretty dang fair price for a truck like this. So uh, I don't think I can complain. Yeah, as you can see, this interior is very base model, but I think for, for what we're building, we don't really need anything above base model. I mean, it would be nice, but for the price we're getting on this, yeah, I, I'm not very worried about it. So I got a call a few minutes ago and I am absolutely racing back to the shop right now because my new truck has apparently just been delivered and I am really excited to see it. Don't worry, Duramax, I'll deal with you in a minute. There's more important vehicles to be looked at here. And here it is, my brand new Tesla Cybertruck. I don't know whether to be excited or disappointed in myself for buying one of these, but uh, it's been a long time coming here and uh, I knew I needed one. Now, I have a very, very particular plan with this Tesla to essentially make it not a Tesla. Even though there's not that many of these things out right now, I, I just I kind of want to do something that nobody else is going to want to do, but it's going to take a little bit to uh, get going. Anyways, I got to take this thing for a drive. It has no noise. I, I kind of forgot. Electric vehicles do not make any noise whatsoever. That is almost almost disappointing. I mean, you can hear there's a little bit of whir from the electric engines. That's about as loud as, as it gets. <laughs> <laughs> that's oh man oh i just realized there's no hitches on this i'm gonna have to put some hitches on it of course i'm gonna have to do some pulling tests because how could you not it's pretty smooth though on these bumpy back roads it's decently smooth i thought it'd be like riding around in a tin can but no actually not bad and it gets up and goes i mean it's nothing crazy like our high horsepower race trucks or nothing and this is the fastest model you can buy i bought it all kitted right out which in hindsight for what i'm gonna do to this thing probably not a good idea but not to fear, I got another one on order that's supposed to be arriving soon. Okay, well, that was a fun first drive. I mean, it's a truck. I, I, can you even call this thing a truck? I mean, technically, yes. At any rate, it's going right into the shop because I got to get a hitch on this thing. We can do some towing. Well, check it out. Gooseneck hitch on the cyber truck. Got that mounted up quick. Um, we have to have the gooseneck neck fully extended to be able to uh, have the trailer level. This thing is surprisingly tiny. I kind of thought it'd be a bit bigger, but nope, it is not. So we're going to load this sucker up. I don't know with what yet. We have enough trucks. I'm sure we can figure something out, but we're going to try some towing with it. Now, keep in mind, this gooseneck trailer is a 44 foot gooseneck plus the dovetail. So this is one long, long trailer. You can fit two crew cab long boxes on it very easily. This is a crew cab regular box, but I got to figure out what else we're going to put on it. All right, the six door F-350 absolute mega truck. I hope it fits on there. It should. Oh yeah, we even got room to spare. Okay, since we got a little extra room here, <laughs> we're going to toss the quad on too. Oh man. All right, to clear the hitch, I had to put it on sideways, but oh, that that is squatting a lot. I should have put the gooseneck just a little further up, but I hope we're going to be okay here. Oh, you know what? We might be good. All right, here we go. Oh, we're moving. I thought we were going to move for a second there, but we are moving. I mean, keep in mind, this trailer is like extremely heavy and we're hardly being able to turn here. Oh man, this is, the truck is not liking this. Come on, little cyber truck. You got this. Dang, we are hardly moving. I really thought this was going to have the torque. Like I get, it's, it's a fairly heavy trailer. I even think like any of my duallys would somewhat struggle. Like a 350 dually would, would definitely struggle pulling this, but dang, this is rough. Okay. Okay, well, we are on the move here very slowly, but we are on the move. I wonder if it's going to get any better when we get on the highway here. I'm going to give this a try. We're picking up speed. It's moving. I'm not even sure of the towing capacity on this thing. Okay, we're, we're going. There it goes. Yeah, okay. It, I guess it's just the weight off the start. Like, there's so much weight on this trailer. It's just really having a hard time. But we are actually moving here. This is better than I thought it would be. Like, from the initial start there, we were hardly moving at all. And now we're, we're cruising. I'm slowing down here for the turn, but... But I think as long as we keep some momentum here, we should be all right. Yeah, look at this. We're actually cruising at a considerable rate. We're going about the legal speed on the road, which I never, I mean, I always go. <laughs> Yeah, we're going about 50 right now. Maybe a little under, but it's still doing well. I guess it just must not have the torque I thought it had. But we're going uphill here, and it's it's still moving. I mean, not too bad. I definitely wouldn't turn it into my daily haul rig, but we're going. Okay, so I've made it back to the shop here in one piece. Uh, the Tesla Cybertruck, still Cybertrucks, I guess. Yeah, we made it back, except I lost the ATV. Yeah, that, that wasn't strapped down very well. So I'm going to have one of my shop guys go get that. But for now, we got some other stuff to do. If you guys have any suggestions for other things you want me to test on the Cybertruck, let me know down in the comment section. This one is not going to remain a cyber truck. 
for very long but i got another one coming that we can still do tests on now this truck isn't gonna be uh done this week that's for sure because we already got too much on the go but that just means i get some more time to order some sweet parts for this thing and get it looking extra cool and i gotta get one of the guys to take that out to the dealership because uh transmission don't work no more well it has been an interesting two weeks at the shop here we've moved a lot of trucks uh we still have a pretty empty dealership though we've bought some interesting trucks but we have built some pretty cool trucks so the two trucks we had in here are now finished the 2023 f-250 limited where the guy kind of wanted to keep it simple but also look cool it I, it's not simple it's not a simple truck but it's on one of the biggest kits striker off-road makes on some 28 inch jtx forged wheels 44 inch boggers full coil over setup on the front not on the back though that's it's still got the blocks and leaves but that's what the customer wanted we did a lot of paint match left a lot of the chrome he did say he pretty much wanted the front grille untouched because that's going to be coming out and i guess getting put to something else i'm not too sure but i will say it does look pretty flipping cool by the way big shout out to wheelman fab for this mod i'll have his patreon link down in the description now this is kind of the opposite end of the show truck spectrum this is kind of what classic show trucks used to look like sort of you got the weld wheels and the boggers we have completely repainted this truck put a brand new big block engine in it i think it's a 454 big block it's on king coilovers, blocks and leaves in the back. It's a pretty cool looking truck. I like the older style. I think it looks really cool, especially with the welds and boggers. And it's actually a trend with trucks I've started seeing make a comeback. You got the show scene in like the 80s, 90s, and 2000s, and then you've got, well, present day. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think is better. But hope you all enjoyed. Subscribe and goodbye.